Wipe yourself off, it's Napkin Nate. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to fix your Elgato HD60 blue screens of death and crashes. I, earlier, whenever I would use my Elgato, I would record for 20 minutes, it would crash. I would try to record in 60 frames per second, it would crash. Basically, anytime I would try to use it, it would crash. It had me on to the point where I wanted to just take back the Elgato HD60 and get a refund and buy a new capture device. My computer easily meets the minimum requirements and I just knew it should work. It, I, I should be able to record in 60 frames per second. And I would try to record in 30 frames per second and it would just, it would record for a little bit longer but my computer would just still shut down for no reason. So how I fixed it was, in the minimum requirements you can see that it says you need a USB 2.0. And most of the USBs on my computer are USB 3.0. Thus meaning that if I use it, it will be very unstable. And since most of them were USB 3.0, I plugged my Elgato into a USB 3.0. So when I'd use it, record for like 10 or 15 minutes, it would crash. It's very unstable using the USB 3.0. So I just switched it out with my keyboard and it worked fine. Um, I don't crash anymore, I can record 60 frames per second, and I knew I could do this from the beginning. I did not have to return my Elgato, and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make it run better if your computer does not meet the minimum. Alright, here we are on my computer, and I'm processing the video and the live commentary I just did over Advanced Warfare. Okay, so here we are on my Xbox dashboard. Okay, so look in Task Manager, you can see that my CPU usage is 99 or 100 because I'm recording, processing, and I'm capturing at the same time. So, just turn off the preview, and it went down, it's going down a little bit. If I wasn't processing, it would be go down even lower. So this makes it to where it, it will go, your CPU usage will go down anywhere between 20 and 30, which is amazing. So that makes you run much better. Uh, you can also lower your quality a little bit, maybe 720p, 30 frames per second. But most people should be able to run 1080p, 60 frames per second, as long as they disable the preview. And you really can have this pause if you want. So that's, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If this helped you, please share it. And I was just looking for a fix for my Elgato. And like I said, I wanted to take it back, but I fixed it. So it's always good to read the minimum requirements and make sure you're using the right USB. So thanks for watching, guys.